Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about something called double diabetes. I had a question from someone who had this and they wanted to know what they can do about it. Okay, so let's just explain what it is. It's a combination between type 1 diabetes where you have the pancreas no longer producing insulin. Okay, there's no production of insulin. The pancreas isn't releasing any more insulin. Okay, combined with something called insulin resistance. And that's a situation where the cells are not taking in, not receiving insulin. Okay, so we have a situation where it's not produced and not received. All right, so the cells can't absorb insulin. The insulin that's in the body, it's unavailable to the cells. The combination is pretty dangerous because it requires uh, you to can take in way too much insulin than you really need. So it ups the amount of insulin that the person needs which creates a lot of damaging effects to the eye, the kidney, the nerves, and the heart, okay? So now, what can you do about this, okay? Now take a look at this. Insulin has a purpose to lower sugar in the blood, okay? And carbohydrates trigger insulin. So right there, that tells you what diet you should be on, right? Don't consume the carbohydrates, okay? Cut out the sugar and the carbohydrates. And also frequent eating will also increase insulin. So if we can create a situation where you don't need as much insulin, that would be very, very smart. Okay. Now, what will cause insulin resistance? Well, high amounts of insulin over a long period of time will cause the cells to block it because the body is trying to protect you because too much insulin is dangerous. Okay. It wants just the right amount. The goal is not to trigger insulin as much with what you're doing in your diet. So we need to cut out the carbs, especially a type of sugar called fructose. Fructose will cause insulin resistance even more than sugar. So that's an agave nectar, it's in fruit. You wanna completely get that out of the diet. In fact, you don't wanna consume any sugars, okay? Especially the high fructose corn syrup. GMO foods, soy and corn, can also cause this condition. Low amounts of potassium because you don't like vegetables can cause the situation. Low B vitamins because you're consuming so many refined carbohydrates, you deplete the B vitamins, boom, cause this situation. Other things will cause it too, so different medications, um, stress, um, there's a lot of things that can cause insulin resistance. But the point is, if you were to cut down the carbs and reduce the frequency of eating, you would decrease the need for insulin. You'd still have to take it, but not in the quantities that you're taking that creates all the side effects. All right? Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.